We're recording now. Oh, Al turned the recorder. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, this is a special little special segment. Special bonus segment. Yeah, bonus of round. Evil Dread. Why it's here. I'm here. Al's here. Say hi, Al. I'm here. Who else is here? <laughs> Lynn's mom's here. <laughs> She, we, we blackmailed her. We forced her into the, coming on the, the show. Biggest fan. She I made am. a trip just for this. If Tyler was here, then we would have our, Ooh, our, yes. all our listeners. In one <laughs> exactly. It's a small group, but a dedicated group. We are dedicated for sure. So, Mom, how do you feel about the pod? I love it. It needs five stars. I need to go on and give it a review because it she needs hasn't given five stars. St- I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh my god! Go, go on iTunes. Give us our first. I, I review. will. Please remember to rate, review, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I totally didn't know you could do that oh god, on I'm iTunes. Tips okay. and tears. <laughs> so yeah, mom came up for my twenty fourth birthday weekend. Woo! We recorded last night the Snowman and Annihilation episode. It was really fun. We got really wasted. Um, but Mom is here tonight. <laughs> a hush falls over the <laughs> Mom is here tonight, so we thought we'd record a little bit. Cool. So what do you want to talk about? The audience? I don't know. I told you. Don't put me on the spot. You could be like, why you curse so much? Why you curse so much? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and talk about your family. Good what? Lord. I don't. Who do I talk about other than you? <laughs> <laughs> it always in you, good ways. You're always in me, a positive you're light. My funnies off on me. Yeah, that's you are okay. funny. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> so, what have you been enjoying lately in pop culture, Mom? What's oh, a movie you went to see lately that you liked? Um. <laughs> Let's uh, see. Gonna li- Shannon's gonna listen to this. It works. Shannon's so. gonna listen to this. <laughs> oh, Shannon. And I share all the Harry Potter fun stuff, supernatural fun stuff. She's my good friend at work. Um, she got tickets to go see Eddie Vedder. Yes. What? Yes. In oh Chicago. my God. She what? Into ah! Chicago to go Listen, Eddie. Eddie loves his Cubs. I'm telling you. I love He's Pearl Jam. I love Field. Eddie. Yeah. Al and I are ah! lost. <laughs> She got tickets to that and, be- and was bragging to me and that because I got tickets to see Elton John, mm-hmm. which is on my Wait, bucket you list. you've seen Eddie? I have. I'll see everyone. God, what? Al well, he saw... must be good. He's, he's on her bucket list. Oh to my go God, see. I'm jealous. Mom and I talk are going to go see Elton John next yep. year. Next February. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. I was pumped about that. So Elton John concert. Yep, that's, that's a personal pick that that's will happen exciting. on February 9th, 2019. After one of his songs. His name is Daniela. It is. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And and I'm sure that song is very dark in the real world, but to me it's it's pretty. So. Dark in the real world. Well, I mean it that's was That's what probably... my memoir is going to be called. Ooh. 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 <laughs> you need some light. I'm going to get you something pink. You need some like to wear. Oh. Y'all thinking that? Oh my I've god! I've never thought that, but okay. I did not bring you onto this program. <laughs> this <laughs> is you the best know, day of my she, life. You wore your Valentine skirt that has lots of pink on well, it. Well, that's exactly. True. That's yes. true. Yes, I tried to get her to buy a, a outfit today that looked like someone's grandma's couch, but she was, <laughs> she was not about it. In plastic? <laughs> well, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was a bubble boy suit, actually. <laughs> it was definitely bright. And she's like, nah, nah. No. Yellow floor no, is not for me, thanks. Um, What's a, what, what was the last movie you saw in theaters? I'm sitting here trying to remember. Was it Shape of Water? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Love that. Pulse Best movie. movie ever. We went to see it together. We had to drive the pulse Shape to the meet. Of- Yes. Well, that sounds about right for Oklahoma. Yes. Yeah. It was amazing. That was a beautiful movie. Did you, did you cry? Because I cried. I, it was I it. it was choking. Yeah. <laughs> it was choking. Choked me <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> choking. I it mean, Michael me Shannon kind of. Oh, my God. Him. Creepiest man on the planet. <laughs> Michael, Michael Shannon is a cryptid. That's oh. my opinion. I, 
I still mm. have all the episodes of Waco just waiting to be We watched. do! Yeah! No, no, we have never been in a mood where so we're like, Spike, let's watch Waco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spike Channel became Paramount, Paramount TV, yeah. and they launched with a show about Tim McVeigh. Okay. No, I, they I did. Not the Tim McVeigh. The... David Koresh. David, David Koresh. Koresh. I'm an idiot. I saw, I saw that advertised, but I never did know. Michael him. Shannon's in it. He's oh, a good wow. guy. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> all, all, Does he know what his face looks like? <laughs> all his terrifying. friends said that he would play a good uh Yeah, like he was telling them he's like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna be in this mini series about Waco and they're like, Oh, you're gonna be such a good David Koresh and he's like, No, I'm the good guy. I am not him. <laughs> Who is the good guy in that story? What? Well he's Oh the... look, mom's getting oh, real God. political. She's <laughs> like, oh. Is America the real villain? <laughs> Because I think that went both ways. I don't know. H.W. Bush. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I dark. condemn you. Oh, my God. Oh, so wow. that's going to be good. I'm yeah. excited for that. My, is it out yet? Yeah. Can you watch it? Oh, okay. we, she has all Al has it all recorded. Oh, Al wow. is, uh, she splurges on cable. <laughs> so, uh, unlike the rest of us. I don't know. Did we, did we get it? If you get Spike, we should, because it just oh, rebranded. Spike. Oh, okay. Check There's that out. Make Dad stuff. watch it. Yeah. Better better television is on AMC and what's the other one? Not FX. FXX. That's the comedy one. No, the, not the not that one. Though. FX? And TNT. No. What the shit? Mom! <laughs> Mom's a tastemaker around here. <laughs> <laughs> FX you know. has been good to us. No, yeah. No, but they had like Breaking Bad and all yeah. that was all on AMC. Yes, mm-hmm. Fargo's on FX. Fargo, Fargo. okay, that's yeah. the one I'm thinking. Legion, FX. Legion the, was good. The people vs. OJ. People versus I haven't OJ. seen that one. Actually. Actually. It's actually as someone who doesn't like true crime, it's, it's very actually good. very good. It's real good. Y'all should watch it. Okay, what do you and Dad watch together? They Western. Have, they have become empty nesters. We're empty all of a nesters. Well, kind of. Yeah, because Quinn won't leave. Kim, Quinn comes back a lot, so that's okay. <laughs> But yeah, we watched we watched Godless on Netflix. That was a good. It's, well, it's got a a western town filled with women because mm-hmm. there was a big mine explosion that killed all the men. You get a really southern. Well, you know. <laughs> the the premise. Well, the bad thing is, it you think it's gonna be like a feminist look at. Mm-hmm. And no. No, no, it's about a dude that's hiding in this town and the well, dude that's chasing that's him. Boring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. it was yeah. it was okay. It was pretty good. And then what else did we watch? How do you spend your evenings? On the stupid computer playing jellies? Okay. That's mom's <laughs> personal pick is jellies. What? <laughs> Candy Crush. <laughs> I did not know that was still a thing. Oh, I have, it is for her. Honey. I have three games. When I run out of lives, I go to the next game. And I'm, I'm, <laughs> She's real good at it. You do you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Is there anything on HBO y'all watch? Game of Thrones. I mean, like right now, but oh, uh, we're no. all waiting for the final season. Oh my god, Westworld coming back. Ah, that's that's good months. too. I did yeah. like I did like that a lot. I don't know that Lindsay would. She, you know, she has an issue with robots and all yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> and she does not it's like... It's been getting the... worse lately. I, I've been upset about it more I, lately. It seems like you. I, yeah. I tried sending you some Boston Dynamics videos. And... That was some bullshit. <laughs> I didn't like that. I was have, mean. I Leslie, usually have, don't have, have a problem you seen with the that. But... Don't you show her. <laughs> Well, it's ro- a robot that can open a door. The robots it looks like learned. a dog. It looks yeah, like a dog. Yeah, it opened doors see? for other robots. It was on entertainment tonight, Lindsay. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe it. I missed it then. It was okay. <laughs> you know, I watch entertainment tonight. Well, and I mean, it's Riverdale or <laughs> yeah, I'm all about Channel Lethal 41. Weapon on Fox. <laughs> can you tell me? I do love Lethal Weapon. <laughs> <laughs> That I wanted you to say. I feel like the podcast is done now. I feel like we've reached. We've accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. (laughs) Told me that right. Someone agreed. Why do you like that show, Leslie? You know, Riggs is a deep, deep hurt soul, and he needs. He's working through it. He is. And then you got his ding dong partner. His ding. Damon Wayans? Yeah, he's he his, his, you know, his trouble is getting his kid in a private school. I liked that episode. That was a repeat from and this week, but I enjoyed all, it. Oh, smart. 
from I don't know. There yeah. was an exact same episode of Frasier like that. Were you a fan of the original movies? Oh my god, I was probably in high school when they came out. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, they were good. Murtaugh <laughs> was much more crotchety and old. He was and too old for this. He was too old for that yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Damon Wayans has a baby. I know, and that. he's like 50. Yeah. That's yeah. funny. Men need to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You hear that, everybody? We uh, agree. Men need to stop. That's the most <laughs> mother-daughter <laughs> moment of 2018. Uh, you can't talk. Your grandpa had a baby at 60. So. That's so weird. I don't know if like, the world needs to know okay, that. But... <laughs> okay. He kept him young. He died in 98. So... Yeah, I guess that's a secret. He kept him young. Wait, wait a long time, Wyatt. Nope. <laughs> okay. Not, not, nope. Yep, not <laughs> my plan. <laughs> Is there any music you've been listening to other than One Direction? <laughs> the Eagles? I love, do, you, do you like One Direction? I love One Direction. Thank you. All right. Story of my life. I can bellow it. <laughs> I've oh, been wanting to make this connection for a long time. What is that happening? My favorite. I feel like a... Uh, like, uh, what a, David Frost and I'm just like in a dark room like yep. uh, moderating this <laughs> go on Mr. Nixon <laughs> I loved it wait is that, I, is that your favorite album well yeah, she probably. listens to singles I listen <laughs> I have singles on my on my phone but um I I can give you some recommendations okay, for other yeah. yes <laughs> Love it. Okay. Love it. Other songs in that band. She likes Al better now. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> Why have you been replaced? They pick on Wyatt. You I don't replace me. <laughs> I'm glad we could we could be your official siblings. Now. Yes, of yes. course. Who's your favorite Direction Boy? Oh gosh. You know. <laughs> Kind of like Niall. I don't um, know why. He's a good one. Yeah. I don't know why. He's kind of cute. He's oh, definitely fuck. been making. He's like, actually the... going out and doing stuff. Yeah, he's musically. been making really good solo music. I know. Yeah. Lynn's all about Zane. And if you like, if you like the Eagles, so does Niall. Oh, so that's why all sweet. of his it comes together. all of his I've songs sound kind of like the Eagles. Eagles. Twice. Yep. <laughs> yeah. One when Lindsay was in you. I really relate to that. That's my first concert. Gif of, yep. from Veep of nervous chuckle. What the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Listen, you knew going into this weekend that it was going to be Wyeth and the ladies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when but is did, it not? I did not. Listen, I'm okay with that concept. I've always been okay with that. But I was not expecting the One Direction involved. Okay. Well, okay. I'm one of my favorite posts. <laughs> <laughs> because most boy bands have at least one ugly one but One Direction they're all so cute and someone said did Lewis die? <laughs> oh that's me no he had a baby I know I know as, as good as dead yep, yep. yeah that ruined him for all those girls oh my goodness uh, yeah let me some One Direction some good old what, what do we call it folk rock I don't think One Direction is folk. Well, I know, I know. I'm they just going became off. more folk rock I'm towards the end. end. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. there. How did you like Harry and Dunkirk? <laughs> he was kind of a jerk. Yeah. He no. wanted I mean, to survive, baby. Yeah, but he, he, that poor guy, that the one that couldn't, you know, he, the, the French, French dude. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, the French dude. He Harry was a dick. <laughs> he was. And I mean, he did. He acted fine. I'm not I was talking about Harry his died, acting, but yeah, oh, they're yeah, in that boat and they're shooting. I lived. <laughs> you go up. You go up. No, true. No, you go up. What the heck? That was wrong. I didn't like that at all. Mom, can I ask you but your Tom thoughts? Tom Hardy has big lips. <laughs> he does. I agree. <laughs> Yep, it's true. You know, he has luscious, beautiful lips. They're monstrous. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can, can I ask you what you think about the Hello Obama meme? <laughs> oh, oh, that's the worst. Why would you do that? Um, that is 
one of the defining names of our generation. That poor child. <laughs> the poor hypothetical child. It's it's like a poor stuttering child. Hello. I know, you know, Lindsay, you were in speech. You know. <laughs> Child is supposed to be like an anime character. Oh, mom says Obama. That's out of character for Obama. He, he was, was not mean like that. He was save a drowning child. What if, yeah. I feel like we should not judge Obama. I feel like he knew there was something dark about that child. Would he let a? Would Obama let a child drown? I would hope not. Not the one you voted for. What? What is there? I'm just saying, like the man you voted for would not. There are not multiple <laughs> Mr. Obamas. <laughs> There's a dark Obama. Oh, no. 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 Mom, I showed that to mom and she said, quote unquote, that is pitiful. I don't like it. Why would he let that child die? That puts Obama in a bad light. Yeah. Quote unquote. I'll do anything. I don't like that. That's a... <laughs> mom, I don't get why that's reflective of your age group that's so it's just very funny and a lot of people (laughs) found it funny millennial humor i feel like is very absurdist yeah Mm. (laughs) okay (laughs) mom what are your picks for the oscars oh wow let's start Um, with the actors and actresses and then we can get into direct tell me who they are refresh my memory um sarcia ronan okay and francis mcdormand i know you don't want her to win you don't she have dresses to... very badly. <laughs> okay. But she doesn't Colorful care, and it's Francis. cool, whatever. But, you know. I like your Peter Stormeyer accent. Thank you. Going. Who else is actress? Sally Hawkins from The Shape of Water. Oh, I think she should win Meryl. hands down. Okay. For hands Meryl. down because hands she used sign language. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. So, Sally Hawkins. Yes. I thought she was amazing. Okay. Actor. Timmy Shamalama Ding Dong. I did not see that movie. I don't think you would like I don't it. Like okay. Tim um, you just don't like him because of his Lady Bird role. But you can't convince me that he's not like that in real life. He is. He is. I like <laughs> it. Tam Hanks. What? Tom Hanks. Isn't he nominated? Oh my god, you're talking no. like my eighth graders. Say the I'm name. Sorry. <laughs> I'm having some fun. Don't oh, do I pig like Latin. to have fun. Okay. <laughs> I hate Pig Latin. Oh isn't god, Tom Hanks nominated? No, no, he isn't. No. Who, who else? Um, um, Gary, Gary, Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. Mm-hmm. Daniel Gary Oldman. Dave Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I do like him, but I have I not seen him. Did um, you see tr- uh, Not True Blood? There will be blood? Yes! <laughs> I drink y'all milkshake. <laughs> I drink it up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who else? Yeah, that was a weird movie. <laughs> I didn't like that movie. Oh, <laughs> they went bowling, though. That I know. They, he killed him in a bowling alley. Yeah, that's oh, mm-hmm. kind of scary. Who else? Um, I haven't heard a good winner yet. I can't remember. Well, Gary Oldman is the front runner. We think Gary Oldman's yes. going to win. Oh, and Daniel Kalua. Oh, yeah, from Get, Get Out. out. Yes, Get out. yes, oh, I think nice. he should win. And he won a BAFTA. He no, did. he didn't yes. win for uh, he actor. Won he won Rising Star. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, so, he was amazing. Yeah, I agree. Sally Hawkins, Daniel Kaluuya. I'm probably not going to, don't bet money on any of this. I don't have money. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. Director. Guillermo. <laughs> I like him a lot. Me too. This have. is a very pro Guillermo uh, And group. he needs he needs some recognition. I will ball my eyes out if he wins best director. Mom took us to see Hellboy two. Yeah. In theaters, baby. Yeah. Summer <laughs> release. Mom of the year. Yeah. Right oh then. my god. Mom of the year took them to see Django Unchained at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic Christmas oh movie. My what else? God. What else did we see that Christmas? Oh. Was that with Nana? Yeah. Oh no. It's Wolf of Wall Street. Do not, <laughs> do not take your no, seventy-year-old grandmother. That was a three generations. My, uh, one of my favorite there. stories about that movie is that when it came out on home home release, uh, home video. a lot of retirement communities uh, were like, "We like that Scorsese fellow. Let's all have Wolf of Wall Street as movie night for these oh, retirement good gosh. communities." <laughs> 
<laughs> two rednecks oh in front of us got up and left after <laughs> the first shot was blowing coke up a hooker's ass. <laughs> <laughs> and Nana just went. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it a good? Hmm? No, no. Oh. it was a bad <laughs> hill from there. Yeah, with wow. Quinn. But she How sat old was Quinn? Fifteen. Uh, Three hours. The whole, the whole movie. Yeah. Of course, we're not rude. We don't get up. <laughs> we are. Uh, you, you scared don't scared Midwestern disres- white people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say, we disrespect just... Mr. DiCaprio. Like. Yes. Um, yes. I will go on record as saying that's one of my favorite Scorsese movies. I like it. It's a lot to deal with, and I didn't like watching it with my entire family around me. <laughs> that's fair. I watched it by myself and was able to not. They are the most horrible creature people. They in. I mean. That they're portrayed. It's they're almost just... as if the greed of Wall Street is awful. Yeah, go figure. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, best picture. <laughs> what do you think should win best picture, Mom? Shape of Water. Okay. She's, Hands down. She's coming through with an all Shape of Water ballot this I, year. I, I support this. Baby Driver needs an award for something that was the freaking awesesomest movie I've ever seen. Got, they did didn't like another, it. In another. You should fight. Did they didn't call? like it at all. Ed, it has editing. editing. It did win for editing. Has Edgar, Edgar Wright is a great editor. I, I love Edgar he Wright. His own well, films. Mom, his, is your fa- what is your favorite movie? Yeah, well, you put me on the spot. Here. I thought you would say Shaun of the Dead. Well, that's that's my go-to. <laughs> that's Shaun a of the great Dead. movie. I've loved it since high it's school. It's the only one I have on my iPad. Mom's not a regular mom. She's a cool mom. <laughs> mm-hmm. I try. No. <laughs> what's your What's your dark horse pick for? If you can't have Shape of Water, who would you like the award to go to? <sighs> Tell me the other one. Three billboards. Get Lady Bird. See, I didn't Lady see Bird. That. Get Out, probably. Dunkirk. No. Darkest Hour. Dunkirk, I thought was going to be horrible after you talked about it. I thought it was and good. You totally blew the. You saw Dunkirk? The, yes, by myself. The last what? summer. I didn't know you saw it. The stupidest death scene on the planet. You <laughs> yes. know, I had that one pegged right off the bat. I was like, okay, this guy's dying because he <laughs> fell down that stair. Um. <laughs> It was good. I mean, I liked it, but it, it was hard special, to follow no. with the three storylines going at the same time because in all different time, yeah, time you periods. can tell which. Yeah, it, it, it which requires time. you to pay attention. Which you and Dad enjoy. I, uh, you enjoy internet games while you watch. <laughs> I didn't TV. do that this time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I did. I liked it, but I thought Get Out was very cutting edge. And, you know, I'm glad I made you guys watch that. Yeah, it was very good. And I probably wouldn't have watched it on my own. So. Cool. Loved it. Yeah. Sweet. It's a social documentary. It is. Mom, would you have voted for Obama for a third time? Absolutely. <laughs> I think all of us. Is would. there any way we can do that now? Oh my goodness, Mom. She's getting political oh, on this pod. <laughs> We've never done that before. Nope, never, never, ever. Well, awesome. Do you guys have any last questions for mom? She's never been interviewed like this. I'm before. not. I don't like the So, spot. so Shaun of the Dead. That's your favorite. Oh, movie. I love Shaun of the Dead. I like all of Edgar Wright's movies. Mm-hmm. He has a style that's cool. Yeah, and you can tell it when you see it. The way he very fast puts Quick. those beer mugs down, and <laughs> you know, it is. I don't know. It's coming to my head. That's yeah, cool. yeah. No, but I get you. You know how he films stuff. He's awesome. Didn't like Baby Driver. Oh god, because Anvil Eggplant was a, okay. He was very Quinn's best inspired. friend looks just like that guy. Wow. Bland. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Bland, white, Trevor. sandy blonde hair. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Just the way the music was so tight. It was every music time was I get in her done. car. <laughs> baby driver soundtrack. I have the baby driver. That was if, I, if we can make a recommendation, focus by focus if you like, like baby driver, I recommend Logan Lucky. Oh, we, watched we watched that. that. I made her watch it I last weekend. Logan Lucky that was is good. baby driver. The was the movie Logan? Was yeah. what? Logan Say Lucky. Something? Logan Lucky was what baby driver should have been. Okay, mm. they are both movies. So we have both of them. We do, <laughs> and I hate that Kevin Spacey's now. Pervert, but mm. Well, he's been for a while. Well, well we know now. Yeah, 
Apparently, uh, I always liked him too as an actor. Yeah. I really didn't yeah. notice. Him. Apparently, instead of Anne Blake Plant, John Boyega was supposed to be the. Now movie. I cannot wrap my head around that. that That's a real that missed opportunity. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. And you know, honestly, he and her were kind of. They no. weren't what I was watching it for. No, of course not. No. I was no. watching it for John Hamm and Aitza Gonzalez. John Hamm. <laughs> Don't get him mad. Don't get him angry. What? That's what she said about it. Don't oh. get my oh, boyfriend angry. Right. You've <laughs> seen Baby Driver like three times more than I have. So I'm like, what is this? I have it at home. I know. Yes. Oh my gosh. I so, so what are some other horror movies that mm. are important to you? Um, horror movies. I did. I enjoyed Cabin in the Woods. That was very, very good. We went to see it together. And it's Just so and funny. Me. I like a funny horror movie. Mm-hmm. I don't like That's like fair. Saw. And mm-hmm. I don't like that gory horror porn crap. No, mm-hmm. I don't think there's anyone here that enjoys like mean spirited horror. Yeah, I like it. I, I if I, I don't want to have to watch it with the lights on, but. Generally, I watch a horror movie with the lights on at home versus in the theater because mm-hmm. I'm kind of a chicken. <laughs> but if it's got if it's funny, that's even better. That's why Shaun of the Dead's a good one too. So, did you show Lynn at a young age like Evil Dead Two or? No, no, I had I to get I had to get my hands that. on that. By okay. myself. I showed her Lost Boys. We watched that <laughs> as kids. Mm-hmm. That's pretty. Yeah, you know, it's kind of scary. But it's it was fine. funny too. It is fun. You know, he wears a dress virtually through the whole show. That's funny. <laughs> it is. I get my love of horror comedy from you, Mama. And Hocus Pocus. Yeah. All Heck the fun yeah. Stuff. So I know my parents did this, but did Lynn ever send you to like the video rental place with requests? We didn't rent a lot of movies. We had one little rental place in town. It's still open, Tim's. Yes. I said I rented Ex Machina from there, and I rented Donnie Darko from there. <laughs> and like like some big ones I rented from there. If you went to a blockbuster, we had to go to town. We had to yeah, do that. we had to go to at least Salazar. At least Salazar, and then we can never get back the next day. Right. So I love technology. Now you can just push a button on your remote, and you got a movie. It's amazing. Yep. <laughs> We did that and last that and night. Amazon Prime and Hulu and Heck all yeah, that. Man. Netflix. We enjoy our media. We yeah. do. We're a mediated family. I get that. Her first movie ever. You know what it is? Yeah. Pocahontas. Yes. <laughs> At age two. Not what I would have expected. <laughs> Dude, we're Cherokee. <laughs> okay. I was so tickled they could go to the movies. <laughs> oh, and then I took Quinn to go see Harry Potter. And he wailed like a... And they made me leave. Oh, yeah. no. And I wanted to die. Yeah, you had to sit in the lobby for like the, the last two hours. Three hours. It's okay. Uh, my parents took my sister and I to see The Lion King in theaters when we were very little. And when Mufasa died, my sister started screaming someone called 911. Oh, my God. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I... Interesting. That, I went you and saw that's... The Little Mermaid. Yeah. Which I'm older than you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wasn't that eighty nine? So you were, you were I was, two as I well. Was two. I got and married. It is my yeah. It was like a very scary movie for me. <laughs> they are. You know? It was very scary. There was a scary shark. Yeah, yes. and scary Ursula. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. <laughs> I remember the the first one I remember going to see was the Horse Whisperer. <laughs> what? I was. <laughs> I was trying to become a horse girl really hard and it never never took, but I was like, I'll go, I want to go see that. And you took me to see it. And then there's a scene where the horse's leg gets messed up and I'm like, I can't do this. This is very gory and frightening. (laughs) And you're like, all right. So I wasted your money that day. I'm sorry. It's okay. You, you, you found your limit. You saw where your boundaries were. Well, I was, I don't know. When did the horse whisperer come out? It was like 98 or something. So I was four? Four. (laughs) <laughs> yeah okay wow. now you've had a major trauma what with mighty joe young <gasps> that was the scariest thing i'd ever seen go, go in my on. Life. she just saw the big cutout in the theater of mighty joe young and went ballistic <laughs> 
crazed, <laughs> terrified, couldn't walk by it, had to be carried, you know. Oh my god, that was... Are you, it was are a you big fr- old monkey, Are dude. you afraid of gorillas? I was then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I have a friend who is like terrified of chim- like gorillas and, and chimpanzees. I so definitely was as a baby. Of them. It was a it was notable because and the it movie was big. wasn't that scary, also, but no. the po- the poster cut out was it was you know six to eight feet tall. So. I didn't like it. Yeah, oh, I remember God. that. Well, I for... did that with Carrie though. Really? I just saw the poster and I had nightmares for weeks. Oh no. Never even saw the movie. That's a cooler so. story <laughs> than my <laughs> story. <laughs> I mean, that's an iconic poster. Yeah. Are you telling me Mighty Joe Young? Young isn't an iconic <laughs> film. Mighty Joe Young, a true icon. His hand is on the poster, and it's like a woman, uh, Charlize Theron's hand, and it's like tiny. It <laughs> <laughs> brought you, brought it back. It did. It know. did. <sighs> Any Stephen King movie. She That's loves them. She yeah. loves them. I'm a constant reader fan club. Did you, uh, what did you think of Dark Tower? Oh, God. I liked it. She loved it. I liked it. I know it's not quite. Wyeth was quite sad that it. That's... You never saw it, though, no. did you? Maybe you... you should see it. Oh, my God. You I are complaining it. about something you didn't see. The Dark Tower <laughs> is, like, my favorite book series. Really? Of all time. And so I wanted it to be, like, Perfect. Lord of the Rings <laughs> yeah. level of quality. It's, I mean, no, that's not. Lord of the Rings quality, but it's it was good. It was Basically, entertaining. I, went, I felt like I should have been the director. Oh, yeah. what thing? Take that just away. Take that just away. <laughs> well, Mom, any other things you want to you wanna say? You wanna I put fully on support your Words podcast. Words. You guys are awesome. You entertain me every weekend while I run errands. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. It's like having you all home in the car with me. So. Mm-hmm. Yes. One day I'm going to like put well, my hand on your shoulder and you're while you're listening to it. Ah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lynn. Thank Yay. you. Lynn yeah. is... Three hours before you're 24. Cool. Do you have any reflections, thoughts? Uh, tell us about your 23rd year. <laughs> oh my God. Was it It the, wasn't great. <laughs> was, it the, was it the Jimmy Eat World song 23 or was it the Blink-182 What's My Age Again? It's What's My Age Again. <laughs> That nobody likes you when you're 23 and still making prank phone calls or whatever. That's the thing. There's not a good song for 24. Nope. You gotta wait till like 25. You're dancing queen at 17. Yep. 18 is a lot of things. Mm-hmm. 18 in life. There we go. <laughs> Skid, good golly. Skid Row. <laughs> That's right. Sebastian Bach. <laughs> Oh, I that 19's year. not a great year. 20, you're like in your second decade. 21, you get to drink. 22, Taylor Swift. 23, Taylor Swift. Nobody yeah. likes you when you're 23. 24, what's happening? Nothing? Keeper I Sutherland. Know. I feel like there's probably. There's, oh, I'm Keeper there's, Sutherland there's, now. There's probably a Death Cab song or something. Probably. I mean, there's always a Death Cab song yeah. about being miserable. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all are giving me great hope for my future. These sad that. ass 30 year olds. I will say. I think I had an all right 24th year. And Good. I, I made it through. So. Awesome. You did, because you're here with me right now. Yep. That's so nice. What were you doing when you were 24? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, no, I didn't have me until I was 27. I was I got just married. I got married when I was 23, 24. Wow. <laughs> That well, was almost 30 years ago. I know. <laughs> almost. 29 All years ago. These de- depressed, single, non-married people in the room were oh. just like, okay. I was getting out of school, and I wasn't going to suck up for a job teaching, so I went and found me a job making minimum wage. You could survive on minimum years, wage then. I was then. like, what am I thinking? I need to suck up for a job. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I went and found me a teaching job. Well, I have a job, so that's yes, good. Yes, that's good. I'm very proud of you. You've made us so happy. You're not Skid Row, 18, the wife, good you golly. know. <laughs> You've made us proud. You're doing a podcast. Yeah. You're teaching little kids, bending minds of youth. Bending yeah. minds. Yeah. <laughs> bending minds like spoons. <laughs> yep, that's it. 
Oh, thank you, Mom. Thank you for being on the podcast. Oh, thanks for having me. Of course, we can put this at the end or have the, <laughs> it's, it's this is a, a special, special episode. episode. <laughs> yeah, thirty-four minutes. That's good. Yeah. All right. Sign off, everybody. Bye. 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 He behaved like a man demented, obsessed, utterly lost. <laughs>